hi guys it's nurse tiana here in today's video i'll be taking you guys to the farm and i'm going to show you how farming is being done here in ekona so if you have never gone to the farm before or if you have never come to cameroon before please watch this video to the end and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so let's go so we are actually on our way to the farm this road going down is going to kumba manfe moyoka and so many other places so it's actually morning very very morning very very early in the morning it's 6 a.m here in ekona we are going to the farm the reason why we go to the farm very early is because during the day like in the afternoon there's too much sun and if there's too much sun you won't be able to work effectively right so now we are at the government yeah. technical school school here in Ekuna, but it's no longer functioning due to the crisis it's no longer functioning this is a government technical school it's no longer functioning due to the crisis so it's actually the maze period guys so as you can see everywhere is just maze 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 everywhere is full of maze we we normally call it we normally call it corn here we normally call it corn but it's called maize so guys this is foundation of limited handicap orphans and street children this is where people who have disabilities such as deaf dumb handicap like they cannot do anything they are being taken care of here but since the crisis started no one dares to come here again so guys this is the this is the building it's normally abbreviated as f l h o s c so guys we are now on our way to the farm as you can see these are palm palm trees palm trees these are the mature palm trees they contain cones which in the cones they have nuts and when the nuts are ripe they are harvested refined to produce palm oil what we normally call red oil as you can see these ones are about 20 to 30 years of age they are about 20 to 30 years of age they are very very old they are very very old so the Ekona people actually uses the palm oil from the palm tree to cook their food. That is because that's what they actually produce it by themselves and it is more affordable than the vegetable oil. The vegetable oil in the market for 5 liter costs 8,500 francs while the palm oil from the palm tree costs 2,500 francs for 5 liter in the market in the market so guys we are actually on the bike now headed heading to the farm we met this good samaritan on his way to his farm we are we are actually going to the same direction so he decided to help us so we are really grateful so guys these are small palm palm trees as you can see this one's actually about eight seven years of age as you can see they're actually very small so with time they will also grow to be like the ones we pass the ones we pass ahead of us these small ones actually produce palm nut yeah they can actually produce palm kennet and they can actually produce oil as well so it's still early in the morning so guys as you can see we have a lot of maize it's the maize season so about let me just say about two or one month the maize will be ready for harvest so this is what farm looks like in Africa. I don't know how it looks like in your country, but this is how farm looks like in Cameroon, sorry. This is how it looks like in Cameroon. As you see, the roads there are so narrow. They are very, very small. 
during the rainy season the roads are very very bad during the rainy season we go to the farm with rainbows we don't go to the farm with our slippers or like normal slippers we go to the farm with rainbows so guys just look how beautiful the place looks just see how green it is this actually around 7 a.m. in the morning past 7 in the morning so the farm we are going to is actually called matango it's not a matango that we drink it's matango that's the name of the farm I don't know how you pronounce it, but some people pronounce it Matango, but I don't know how to pronounce it that way, so I pronounce it Matango. So there are a lot of maize here, a lot of maize, guys. And I'm going to make a video of when um, they are harvesting the maize. I promise to do a video for that, okay? So just watch this video to the end if you want to know more about farm work here in Cameroon. So this uh palm nut, palm kennet, yeah. Palm trees, palm trees, yeah, these are palm trees. These ones are still very young. Soon we'll get to the farm, soon we'll arrive at the farm. Though the distance is very long, but with the aid of the bike, you will be able to get to the farm much more earlier. So look how the road is, guys. During rainy season, you can't even walk here very well because it's slippery, at times muddy. At times during the rainy season, bikes... You, bikes can't pass here but some of them usually change their tires for them to be able to climb on the hills or to be able to go down the hill because it, it will be slicing slippery so guys we are actually down from the bike the man said he want to go to another direction so we have to trek so guys these are cocoyam leaves we use them to prepare in kwang we also use them to prepare koki so many food ah even belembi those of you who know what belembi is we usually use cocoyam leaves to prepare belembi this is cdc cdc land so here they harvested about six years ago they cut all the palm trees so that um they'll be able to replant since they all the other palm trees were already old so they have it they cut them off so they were going to plant but unfortunately we had one serious crisis in the southwest region so they had to stop working for the moment so now the Kona people they they had to use the opportunity to 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 invest as in planting their corns as you can see commonly called maize and a goosey so they so they are, they are going to make enough money you can see you can see very soon about in a month time it will be ready for them to to harvest Harvest and sell. This is cassava. This is actually CDC land. CDC. It's very big. So, guys, just look how beautiful <laughs> the atmosphere is. The atmosphere is so so beautiful. Look how blue the sky is. Hi, Omo. The sky is so beautiful. The this is a goosey. A goosey. Fancy cocoyam. 
Is it It's the white. It's now for grass. Nobody has caught me. <laughs> Not for myself, too, for the. <laughs> okay. Mommy, for bath. This is cassava stem. It's actually for planting, so we have to cut them and plant. You see? This so that's my mommy she's planting as you can see that's how they remove cassava um cocoyam from the soil that's how they remove cocoyam from the soil yeah she's having a hole that hole that they use in in tilling the soil you use you till the soil you remove the cocoyam and you still use the same hole to that's the hole as you can see you can see use the same hole to plant back the cocoyam into the soil so now i'm removing the cocoyam from the soil you see the ground is very very it's very strong it's tough it's not soft because it's the dry season this one. So. I'm removing the cocoyam from the soil. So guys, this video was actually shot and made by my best friend. She did this video for me because I wasn't able to go to Ekuna with her. So she decided to make a video for me. So I'm really grateful and I dedicate this video to her. Yeah soon she'll start her own youtube channel by the grace of god i will tag her so you guys will see her and follow her okay that's cocoyam that's the whole these are cocoyams that are very very much so now we are eating yeah she's eating She's eating crumb crumb that's granite corn and bread. She's eating crumb corn guys. So guys, crumb crumb is actually granite with maize. Yeah, that's what they call crumb crumb. So she's eating crumb crumb. That's how you usually do when you walk and you're tired. You all you, you need to eat right to gain some energy. These tomatoes, these are tomatoes. This one is 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 village tomatoes. Eh? The tomato on a village one. It's just like um jakatu. I don't know how you put, how you um garden egg. Yeah, it's just a garden egg, but it's actually to me it's actually a tomato. If you look very well, you see it have the shape of of um of jakatu. Yeah, of garden egg, you have the shape of a garden egg. So this is the garden egg plant. So as you can see, everywhere is green. The if you look very well, you see that the place is um is is a bit like yellow, yellow because of sun. There's too much sun. So my mom is she's arranging the cassava stem to plant. This is how you arrange it when you want to plant it. You cut everything and you then put it inside of the soil. This is how to make the cassava stem to plant. When you put it in the soil, rain will fall on it, it will germinate and produce cassava, cassava root, cassava root which is used to to um which is then processed to produce gari water full bubble what people usually call manioc in french So guys as you can see the weather there is 
uh, it's really sunny the time there's around 12 1 around 12 1 that's when the sun is out everywhere is hot and when the sun is much like this it brings a lot of light this these small flies that always make noise in the ear. People call it ear a wing wing. Mm -hmm. wing, wing. He loves to disturb people's ears. Oh, my grandma is smiling. My mom is smiling. My mom is smiling. So, guys, I just said, let me show you guys around. I want to show you guys some cocoa farm, cocoa trees. Yeah, these are cocoa trees. It's not actually the season for cocoa. That's why you, are, you cannot see many or much cocoa pot on the stem yeah it's not actually the time now but when it's the time guys i will let you know i'm gonna make videos so you can watch so that's my bestie glory she's always who is making this video This is what the farm looks like here in Moyoka and in so, so many other places here in Cameroon. This is what the farm looks like. This cocoa tree, that's actually a cocoa pot. The ripe one, the one that is um, yellow. The blue ones, um, the, the green ones are actually not, the green ones are not yet um, ripe. Yeah, they are not yet right, but they can also be harvested if they are strong enough. So this is what farm here looks like. As you can see, there's the sun. If you look down on the leaves, you see some patches of light rays. That's sun. That's cocoa tree, cocoa tree, guys. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this video comment in the comment section what you think about this video please so now we are on our way back home this is what we call mbaka what the my 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 mom is carrying we call it kenja there we put all our our stuff inside our cutlass our foodstuffs and it's very easy to carry to carry um food in large quantity than to just put it on your head like what i'm doing now as you can see i'm putting this thing on my head it's not that good because it can actually give me headache so i would rather prefer everyone to carry their food on kenja or in baka like the one my mom is carrying so guys see you in my next video bye bye don't forget to subscribe okay love you